When all of us first get into spirituality, we do it for ourselves, to make ourselves better. But in mature spirituality, we have to be others-centered instead of just self-improvement-centered. And that is our subject for today. To delight, to absolutely have joy in the victories of others. In 2 Corinthians 1, verse 4, the Bible says, God comes along with us when we go through hard times. And before you know it, God brings us alongside someone else who is going through hard times so that we can be there for that person just as God was there for us. Fanny Crosby said, A single word if spoken in a friendly spirit, may be sufficient to turn one from a dangerous error. And I know that to be true. Well, my friend, do you delight in the victories of others? You should. Each day provides countless opportunities to encourage others and to, to build up their good works. When you do, you spread seeds of joy and happiness, and that's precisely what God wants you to do. So make a promise to yourself, to God, and even if it's not verbalized, to your fellow human beings, vow to be a source of encouragement to everyone that you meet. Keep a smile on your face and a kind word on your lips. It may not be exactly what you considered in the beginning of spirituality, but you will find that it is definitely the end game. You will find your greatest joy in this. You will find your greatest joy in the joy of others. And... It is a joy to know that when God brings someone alongside you and you're told that you can make a difference in this person's life and you do it and you see the results of that, I tell you, you will go to bed at night with a smile on your face and more important, in your soul.